So today I have a treat for all of you renters out there. So I've actually been renting my entire life and I'll be honest, I've transformed every single rental. I feel like even if you rent, your home should still reflect your own personal self. But obviously when you're renting, your options for upgrades are limited because you wanna stay within the confines of what's allowed in your lease. So I've made a ton of upgrades in my kitchen and now it's gorgeous and stunning and light and beautiful and I love meal prepping in it. And I wanna teach you 20 things that you can do on a budget to upgrade your kitchen. So if you're somebody who's not really handy, number one is probably the easiest and simplest thing that you can do to really elevate your kitchen. And that is to paint your walls. A light color on the walls and cabinets instantly brightens the space, making it look larger and in turn more expensive. Light colors like these reflect light and hide some of those imperfections that we have in our outdated kitchens, including scratches, dings, and dents in your old cabinets. The lighter, the better. My kitchen currently is painted the color sage, and it really opens up and elevates my space. So go light. I absolutely love Home Depot for this because you can go to Home Depot, you can pick up a bunch of their samples and you can kind of pick and choose what resonates with you. If you're unsure about the color that you want, maybe just bring home a sample, try it out on a small section of your kitchen and see if it vibes with you. Number two, if you don't want to paint, is to apply wallpaper. Now I know when we hear wallpaper, we're like, oh, that's kind of outdated and old, but today's wallpaper options like these are freaking incredible. I also have highly encourage you if you are to select wallpaper to also go with light colors to open up the space. My kitchen is incredibly tiny. So for me, the lighter, the better. So especially if you are somebody who has a teeny tiny kitchen and this rule applies to any area of your home, the smaller the space, the lighter the colors, the bigger it appears. I absolutely love this wallpaper option on Amazon and any upgrade I talk about today, there will be links in the description for you to sort of browse through. Just keep in mind, long horizontal lines are known to visually expand the space, making rooms appear longer and wider, whereas vertical lines make a space appear optically higher. So again, it'll depend on what kind of look you're going for. A third budget-friendly option to upgrade and elevate your kitchen is to upgrade your flooring. And before you're like, oh my God, this is gonna cost an arm and a leg, I'm not telling you, especially if you're renting, you're not going to butcher the current floors, rip them out and lay down new hardware. We're just not gonna do it. We're also not allowed to do that. So here's the solution, pop-up tiles. Totally affordable, completely easy to lay down. All you do is peel and sick. Again, you don't have to be a pro. If you're not sure how to do it, there are a ton of YouTube videos out there. I have installed these particular pop-up tiles actually in my bathroom and I absolutely love them. You can also apply pop-up tiles, and here's the best part, to the existing floors in your kitchen. Next up, how to upgrade your kitchen on a budget is to simply paint your cabinet. So this is my kitchen, my cabinet, it's actually used to be dark brown. I mean, for a tiny kitchen, they made my kitchen even smaller. And again, I am not a DIY master by any means. I'm like your average mom <laughs> who YouTube stuff and learns how to do things. Um, and it was very, very easy to just simply select the color. I chose a color in Home Depot. I talked to the people there regarding what type of paint I should use, right, that's conducive to a kitchen because in a kitchen you really wanna use paint that's easy to clean because, you know, we get a lot of debris and grease and stuff like that on it. So I actually painted the top cabinets white and I painted the bottom cabinets blue. And the transformation is like incredible and we were able to do this within two days. Here's a little sneak peek into my kitchen reno. Um, we pretty, I pretty much just did it with my mom. Um, again, we didn't, we didn't go pro style with this. The way that you're supposed to actually paint your kitchen cabinets is you're supposed to remove them from the hinges and then paint each individual door. I will be very transparent and maybe you can even relate to this, but the cabinets are so old that we thought that if we would remove them, we would never be able to put the doors back on. So we actually painted them as is. 
So again, very, very simple upgrade, but I absolutely love, love, love my new kitchen. And again, it only cost me $20 worth of paint and some rollers and paint brushes. This is a fun activity to also do with your partner or your kids. My daughter will often, I actually take on a lot of DIY projects and it's actually a really, really fun thing to do with my daughter. Now, obviously our kids are not going to paint very well. And trust me, I do go over her work. Um, but at the same time, it's just really a fun activity and it's great to kind of include our family members and especially our little ones in the process. Next upgrade on a budget, and this is something I'm going to be doing soon, is to upgrade your backsplash. So currently in my kitchen, I have these like tiles. Again, the tiles are actually in good condition. I think that they were replaced recently, so they don't bother me as much, but there are so many options on Amazon for white subway tile peel and sticks like these. I'll actually leave a link to them in the description. Again, super easy to cut. You don't have to be a professional. They are affordable and you can essentially, depending on the size of your kitchen, you can install them in a day. Next, upgrade your kitchen countertops. Remember, this video is on a budget. So I am not in no way, shape or form suggesting that, that you rip out your countertops and lay down new ones. We are also not allowed as renters to do that, but what you can do is lay down contact paper. And actually in my kitchen, when we did the reno, we laid down this peel and stick marble countertop paper. Super easy, super quick, and it's like eight bucks a roll. And we needed for my kitchen, we needed two rolls because it was actually our first time doing it. I was, my brother was helping me. It was our first time doing it and we made a lot of mistakes because as a tip, when you're laying this down, the contact paper is incredibly sticky. So if you've never laid down contact paper, I do encourage you to watch some YouTube videos so you can properly do it. Me and my brother decided to not watch anything and we kind of just thought we can wing it. <laughs> And we made a lot of mistakes in the beginning until we were like finally like, yeah, you know what? We probably should learn how to do this the right way. And we did and we laid it down. I, I would have to say probably in about two hours and the transformation is incredible. And again, for my kitchen, it cost me $16. Leave a comment, let me know which one of these upgrades are you thinking of trying first? Next up, again, completely transforms and makes your kitchen so incredibly fancy looking and fabulous looking is to upgrade your hardware. Upgrading your hardware are things like your kitchen cabinet knobs. Um, you can get them incredibly cheap. Again, usually our rental apartments come with hardware that's outdated and ugly and pretty much doesn't match the decor of anything. Upgrading your hardware, I mean, you can spend no more than like $20. You can get it on Amazon. You can stop by Home Goods. They actually have a lot of sales on knobs periodically. And just by upgrading your hardwares, again, if you've painted your cabinets, you now transform your kitchen with these teeny tiny upgrades. My one thing that I will recommend because you are renting is keep the original hardware. And this applies to everything that you're changing out in your home. You're installing new stuff, which is fantastic for you to enjoy when you live there, but when you're going to move out, so again, you don't really get into any trouble. I keep, anytime I swap anything out, whether it's a light fixture, a faucet or whatnot, I always have a box where I keep the original so that when I do move, I can replace it back. Which leads me into my next fabulous upgrade, and that is to swap out your kitchen faucets. In rentals, typically the faucets that we get are kind of hideous and generic. <laughs> Upgrading your faucet makes it look so much richer. I've actually upgraded to this gold faucet, and I mean, I, I think that I, I would stand in my doorway <laughs> in my kitchen doorway for like two weeks, admiring my faucet. Just something to keep in mind, it, while you're in the process of upgrading your kitchen, it's also a good opportunity for you to declutter and get rid of any appliances or things in your kitchen that you do not need. The last thing you wanna do is upgrade your kitchen, make it look absolutely rich and wonderful looking and still have it be filled with tons of clutter where you're masking the beauty that you've created. If you're interested, I will be hosting a one hour workshop teaching you how to declutter your kitchen countertops. 
If you're interested, this workshop is going to be fantastic. It's 60 minutes. You're going to walk away empowered and motivated to declutter your kitchen. I will leave a link to it in the description. Hope to see you there. Next, when it comes to upgrading your kitchen, if you're renting, and by the way, as a side note, whether you rent or not, you too can make these upgrades. I'm specifically targeting rentals just because when we rent, we are limited to what type of upgrades we can make. Like we can't just rip out our cabinets and install new ones. We can't rip out the countertop and install new ones, right? That typically goes against our lease. But anyone can make these upgrades in their kitchen. So next up, upgrade your lighting. Whenever I move into a new apartment, the first thing that I do is I upgrade all of the lighting in the space because I don't know about you, but I completely hate, hate the lighting that most rental apartments come with, like these. Let me know, does the space that you currently live in have these lights? They absolutely drive me nuts. What I typically do is I will go on Amazon and look for a bunch of deals and like inexpensive ways to upgrade my lighting. Sometimes what's much more budget friendly is if you just replace the lighting cover. That can be much more affordable and you can check out some suggestions I have for your kitchen in the description below. But upgrading and elevating your lighting, again, something that's on a budget, you can find something for $10, for $15, but it really truly elevates your kitchen. And ladies, we spend a lot of times in our kitchen. Okay, we're in our kitchens multiple times a day. If you're going to invest upgrading any room of your home, I highly suggest that you do the kitchen. All right, next up, when you've done a lot of these things, invest in greenery. Add plants, add flowers. It'll make your space look so much more inviting and beautiful and fresh and alive. I am somebody who absolutely love, I mean, I have a crazy green thumb and I absolutely love plants. You can probably see some of them behind me. Having plants all over my house just naturally makes me happy. It makes me smile. I just, I love it. I love it. I think it's a beautiful accent piece, especially for your kitchen. You can actually have plants such as, you know, basil and things like that, that you can actually grow and also include in your salads and your cooking. Next up, add artwork. I'm all about a clutter-free space, as you know, <laughs> if you're subscribed to my channel, but I'm all about keeping things simple and clutter-free. But with that said, there's something nice about having some artwork and an accent piece in your kitchen. I have this one right here, which I love, my farmer's market. Don't be afraid to add artwork. Just keep in mind, don't have your walls covered with artwork because again, that'll actually shrink your space and make it appear cluttered because especially small pieces is visual clutter. If part of your rental agreement, you're actually not allowed, in some apartments, you're not allowed to put nails in the walls. So with that said, don't be discouraged. You can just invest in these simple peel and stick command hooks. If you're getting value from this video, don't forget to contribute to my coffee addiction by smashing that like button. Next up, upgrade some appliances. Um, I heard this line somewhere, it is not mine. I'm so sorry off the top of my head. I can't remember who to give credit to, but it's buy once and buy well. So for example, instead of having an air fryer or coffee machine or something that only lasts you about three months or that maybe doesn't work, consider paying a little bit more for these items. Especially if these are items that are sitting out and about on your kitchen countertop or on your stove, you want the items to look expensive and clean and nice, right? You almost want those items to be centerpieces for your kitchen. For me, it's the air fryer and my coffee machine, and I'll leave links to options in the description below. The next one and something that you can do super cheap on a budget, home goods, okay? Best place to go buy these things. Upgrade your towels, your soap dispenser, and your cutting board. When I upgraded my faucet and I bought this gold faucet, I actually also updated my soap dispenser. So my soap dispenser is gold. Now, it's really funny, funny story. I'm in Target and I like things on a budget. However, there are certain items, like I mentioned previously, buy once and buy well. I'm looking at two soap dispensers and like one was kind of like a cheapy one. It was like $6 and I'm like, this thing will probably need to be replaced in like six months. Versus there was a gold one, which was $13, which obviously matched my decor much better. And I'm just like staring at both of them. And I was like, wait, no, buy once and buy well. So I went ahead and bought the gold one. It was an $8 difference. Oh my God, I don't know. My math is not great. 16, 13, yes, it was an $8 difference. 
but the impact to my kitchen was huge. And by the time I got home and I put it on my sink, I was like, oh my God, thank God I made this decision. And check it out, it looks great. So upgrade your towels, upgrade your soap dispenser, upgrade your cutting board, especially if your cutting board sits on top of your kitchen countertops, because that is literally something, it tends to be quite large, that is an accent piece, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute, but that is something that your eyes are drawn to when you walk into your kitchen, so you want it to be nice. When I did this next upgrade, my mind was a blown, because the result for such a small, inexpensive upgrade were so huge. And it's to use a drying mat instead of a drying rack. So drying racks are these things right here, metal, big, bulky. If you're like me, you probably would wash the dishes, put them there and leave them there until the next time you had to use it. And a metal drying rack is like an eyesore. And then when you add plates and cups and cutlery to it, it just, even if your kitchen's beautiful, but you have that huge metal rack, you're just like, ugh. So what I did, best decision I've ever made, is I got rid of the rack and I invested in this mat. And something incredible happened, ladies. Number one, it's not an eyesore. Number two, I actually no longer allow dishes to sit on it. I don't know why. I was always someone, and let me know, are you guilty of just having the dishes sit in the rack until the next time you use them? I don't have a dishwasher, by the way. If you have a dishwasher, I am very jealous of you. <laughs> But ever since I invested in a mat, which by the way was eight bucks, completely transformed. I mean, completely. Number one, it looks nice. There's less visual clutter and I'm more likely, especially when I do my evening kitchen reset routine, I put away all of the dishes and my kitchen looks neat, beautiful and clutter free. Next upgrade for all of you renters is to keep your refrigerator clean. Now I'm just going to preface this by saying I do not follow this suggestion. <laughs> yes, your kitchen will look much cleaner and neater if you don't have any pictures or artwork on it. I know that, I know that pictures are, are visual clutter and I know that the space opens up when we remove all of the stuff from our refrigerator. I can't do it. I am a mom. I love having pictures of me, my daughter, our family. I have on my refrigerator our little artwork pieces that she's done for me. I do not view it as clutter. <laughs> I enjoy it, it makes me happy. But with that said, if you're someone who doesn't feel like I feel, then yes, I do highly recommend that you remove as much as you can from your refrigerator and keep it clean and Clear. Next, use baskets around your kitchen. Again, place them strategically. You don't want to have a bunch of baskets everywhere, but using baskets to hold fruits, to hold snacks, and to hide any kind of items makes it look much richer and neater. So again, be selective of the type of baskets that you're using and how many. Don't go overboard because you don't want it to look like clutter, but baskets are a great way to sort of organize your kitchen space. All right, next up, hope you're still with me. Drop a comment, let me know which one of these are you like, oh my God, absolutely going to try this upgrade like right now. Hide small appliances. Small appliances scattered throughout the kitchen create visual clutter, which actually make your kitchen look much more busy and it takes away that fabulous element. So a very, very simple way to upgrade your kitchen, this costs you nothing, talk about upgrades on a budget for a renter, hide small appliances. Small appliances also take up valuable countertop space. And this is why this is why I'm hosting a workshop to actually teach you how to declutter your cabinets so that you can take some of the items sitting on top of your countertop, typically those small appliances, and now you make room in your cabinets to store them. Next, make something expensive in your kitchen a focal point. Follow something called the coconut effect. So you wanna choose an item to be a focal point that is larger than a coconut. Because if it's smaller, then your eyes will not naturally gravitate towards it. So this can be a beautiful cutting board. This could be a coffee machine. This could be an air fryer. Maybe if you have a kitchen table, have a beautiful vase of silk flowers. But in your kitchen, when you walk into your kitchen, there should be one item that's like a va-va-va-boom item, right? 
um, that you invested in that becomes the focal point in your space. And that is what's going to elevate it and make it look much more expensive. Next, use gold for a richer look. This is why I selected my faucet as gold, my soap dispenser is gold, and my cabinet knobs are gold. It's just, if you're going for that expensive, rich, fabulous feel, well, gold gives that to you. There's a reason that we as ladies love gold. So why not have it in your kitchen? And finally, keep your countertops clean and clutter free. The less stuff that you have out and about, the bigger, the richer, the cleaner, the more inviting your kitchen will look. Oftentimes we have kitchens that are beautiful, but because we have a ton of clutter everywhere, typically our countertops are magnets for clutter. So we can't see the beauty because our eyes are naturally gravitating towards all of that clutter. So eliminate as much as you can off of your kitchen countertops. Leave only what you need. All right, renters, that is it. Those are my 20 tips to elevate and make your rental kitchen look expensive and fabulous and a kitchen that you can actually be proud of. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Good luck on your upgrading journey and always remember to be good to yourselves.